guys, I'm Sana. I'm Alona. And today we're gonna to talk to you again about our Driving with Dignity program. It is a program to assess senior drivers and their safety on the road. Uh, we do have other videos describing how the assessment works, but uh, we, all, we wanted to uh, give you some tips today about how to adapt as an aging driver. You don't necessarily have to give up the keys, but there are some things you can do just to become safer on the road for your sake and for everybody else's. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and share some of those tips today. Yes, definitely things change as we age, but that doesn't mean that there's a certain age where you have to stop driving and you have to give up your keys. So I would say the first thing, the, the most obvious thing to be to check your vision. And I would do that at least once a year. And if your doctor you know, recommends more, definitely do more. But it could be the difference between you know, wearing glasses when driving and not you know, being able to drive. So I would definitely say, get that under control. If you need glasses, you need glasses. It's no big deal. Uh, I would also think it's very important to check your hearing. And it doesn't sound like hearing, you know, what does that have to do with me driving? But if there's an ambulance going by or the police or some kind of um, siren that you need to be aware of and you cannot hear it, that is definitely putting you in danger. You don't know to pull over. You don't know that something's happening, you know, next to you, in front of you, behind you. So hearing plays a huge, huge role in being a safe driver. Um, I would also recommend that you review your medications, that you would talk to your doctor or your pharmacist and see if maybe, you know, you notice that um, you know, I never used to do this while driving, but now I do. Where is this coming from? It could simply be um, an effect of your medication. So I would definitely go over that with your physician and your pharmacist and see if they have any suggestions on that. Um, just out of routine safety, I don't think you have to be elderly for this. I think if you can avoid these things, please do it anyway. Um, I would not recommend driving during rush hour if you can avoid it definitely stay away from that and um the very dangerous for us especially in the summertime is the sunrise and the sunset times mm -hmm. because the sun can be so blinding depending on what direction you're going in and so many accidents happen because somebody's blinded by the sun doesn't see somebody walking or driving or turning and it has nothing to do with your age it's all of us and we all have to be super cautious about that and I definitely say stay in good communication with your doctor and keep them informed. Let them know if you're feeling differently, if you're, you know, all of a sudden you sense confusion or more fatigue or you're forgetting things because, again, it doesn't mean they're going to say, well, you know, you're done driving now. Maybe there's just things that we can help and things that we can assist with to make you a safer driver. And really, you know, if you want to be aware of what's happening I would recommend doing a self-assessment so you can call us you can call um, look up another person in your area for beyond driving with dignity program online uh, but I really think that would be something that would save your life somebody else's and really make you a more confident driver which is what we all wish we would be on the road so thank you so much guys for listening all right see you next time bye bye, bye.